Hello, I'm Ken from shop3d.ca, and today I'm very excited to be introducing the brand new flagship printer of the Ultimaker lineup, the S7. And with me, I have Jackie from our Vancouver office, our technical director, as well as Raphael, our application specialist from Quebec. And they're gonna tell us all the nitty gritty details of this fantastic new printer. So let's dive in. One of my favorite things to do at Shop3D is getting to meet all the new printers. And today, I'm super excited to take a look at the new Ultimaker S7. I drove all the way from Quebec because I just could not miss this occasion. So here's what's new with the S7. Let's go from top to bottom. Starting off, we've got the integrated air filtration system that will remove 95% of your fine particles. In the corner, they added a 1080p camera so you can remotely monitor your prints in high definition. One of the great new features of the S7 is its double-sided PI-coated build plate. With this build plate, you can pop your prints right off and adhesion is no longer required for most materials. And it makes a nice little womp womp sound. <laughs> Probing makes perfect with the S7. With a new print head sensor that probes the build plate, you can get less noise and more accuracy. Add this to the automatic tilt compensation and you can be confident in a perfect first layer every time. And the redesigned print head detects potential flooding and stops printing to prevent waste and damage, giving you peace of mind. So that wraps up all the new features of the Ultimaker S7. I'm Raf, à la prochaine. For those of you who don't know, the new S7 is the new flagship printer from Ultimaker. It's got a build volume of 330 by 240 by 300. Uh, it's dual extrusion and has a new flexible PEI build sheet. It has a built-in EPA filter and it's compatible with the material handling station uh, just as the S5 was. It has Wi-Fi and Ethernet connectivity and also works with the Ultimaker Digital Factory. The S7 is backwards compatible with the S5 you can use pre-sliced files that have the same profiles as the S5 and operate it within the S7 environment. The S7 has dozens of OEM materials to choose from, but if you're not satisfied with that, there's hundreds more materials to choose from in the Cura marketplace. With constant future updates, you can be confident that the S7 will stay at the leading edge of 3D printing for years to come. So thank you, Raphael and Jack, for the detailed rundown of the Ultimaker S7. I'm convinced that this is the best system Ultimaker has ever made. So if you want to get your pro system today, make sure you get it today at shop3d.ca.